I have a question about the healing trauma. Uh, if we have a trauma, do we heal it uh, completely or partially by seeing the illusion behind the self that was created out of the trauma? Okay. Uh, no, no, we, we heal it partially, but not fully. Uh, because there can also be some energy that was generated that stored, for example, in the emotional body. So I need to invoke light to uh, transform that energy back to a higher vibration. <clears throat> and in a, in a sense, you could say it's not enough to see the illusion. You also have to let go of the self. You have to consciously give it up. Um, and give up not only the illusion, but the self. Because, you know, the moment you see an illusion, it's because you see the higher reality behind the illusion. So the illusion really just drops away when you see the higher reality, that this wasn't the full truth or this wasn't even true. <clears throat> but there can still be the self, which is more than the illusion because you've imbued it with energy and consciousness over time. And so you need to sort of look at that and say, no, I don't want this anymore. I don't want to experience life. I don't want to act through it. I'm just letting it go. Again, you're not trying to solve the problem because a lot of times the illusion, uh, a lot of times the illusion is that there's a problem outside of yourself that has to be solved before you can feel at peace, for example. And we only want to come it by realizing that no matter what you do outside yourself, it's not going to change your state of mind because the state of mind is determined by the self and only letting go of the self will change your state of mind. <clears throat>